Good day YouTubers, welcome back to another video with the electrical guide. Today I want to show you how to swap out a standard switch for an occupancy sensor. This is a 180 degree occupancy sensor so it catches all the way from the side to the other side. It's got some cool features inside, time to stay on, a range of pickup and light level. And it's also got blinders, how cool is that? You can blind a portion of the window there and lower from 180 degrees to something else. Pretty cool. So I'm going to swap this out, let's get to it. Obviously the first thing I have to do is take this apart, so I'm going to speed this video up and get that done. So of course I turned the circuit off before I started this in the panel, but just for Good practice. I'll use my proximity tester to verify that there's indeed no power here. A little beep's all right. Sometimes it picks up some static, but it'll be going wild if there was power here. So we're good to go. Now I'm going to proceed to take this apart off of the switch. I'll speed this up as well. Of course, in good practice, I take the black wires off first, leaving the ground for last. So before I wire this guy up, I just want to point out that it says that the ground has to be terminated in order for this to work. I've seen this before. So we have to make sure, of course, we're terminating this green wire. We've also got a blue and a black. Usually the black is going to go to your power source and the blue is going to go to your light. You should probably check your instructions just to verify that. Now these usually come pre-stripped with just little pieces that you can pull off the end there, but I actually like to strip them a little bit more than what they come pre-stripped as. I think it makes for a little bit of a better connection. Of course, make sure you have a few morettes with you before you start this because you're gonna be attaching these wires together with morettes, not terminating on the device. Okay, so we've got this all open and I stripped these a little bit more and I pre-twisted them together so they're nice and easy to attach to the solid wires. Now I have to straighten these out because they're a little curved from the previous connections. If yours are already straight, that's great. If they're not, you'll want to straighten them as well to make good Marat connections. Okay, for this particular occupancy sensor, there actually is no neutral. We just have a in and an out. So this is gonna, the black's gonna go to my power and the blue is gonna go to my light. And I've already identified which is which. If you're unsure which is which, and you can't see them in the wall, like this wall's exposed so I can follow them around. If you can't, you can always separate them like this. Make sure nobody's close by. Go turn that breaker back on again and take out your proximity tester again and see which one is flashing red. Then you'll know which one is your power. Go turn your circuit breaker back off again. And that's the one that's gonna go to, well, your black or whatever your instructions say. So in good practice, of course, I'm gonna do my ground first. And because I'm using solid and stranded, I'm actually just gonna twist them with my fingers, make sure that they are the same length, and then put them in the moret. Give them a couple twists. Make sure you don't have any copper showing out the back of your moret. Okay, that was easy. We wired it up. Now we gotta tuck these wires back in the box. I'll do the neutral first. I like to roll them and then flatten them out at the back, like so. Verify, of course, which way is up. Okay, that's sitting pretty nice on there. Now, if you like, you can put the cover plate back on. I'm actually gonna leave this as is. Maybe I'll source a great cover plate in the future, but kind of like this, this look for a laundry room. So let's go ahead and turn the circuit back on and test it out. If all goes well, so work like a dream. Open up the door, walk by it, should turn on your light. Depending on where you set that timer, will determine how long it stays on for. Hopefully, you've learned something today, how to install an occupancy sensor. Thanks for watching another video with the electrical guy. Be sure to like and subscribe.